Hello, my friends. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. It is time for a Flashcard 2.0 Fun Fold. Hey, I have got a great card for you. Check this out. We've got a little flap. Isn't that going to be a fun card to send? Today's card is an I Miss You card. Guys, many of us are stuck inside. We've been asked to stay inside. It's time to send some happy mail to some friends and family. So we're gonna create a really nice I miss you card. I think this one's gonna be perfect. And how is that little flower and that flap? Not gonna brighten someone's day, am I right? Okay, let me show you how to create it. All right, let's go over the card stock you need for today's Flashcard 2.0 fancy fold. Guys, we've got a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that is cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches. My Flashcard 2.0 pieces are in Granny Apple Green and Whisper White. Granny Apple Green is two and one eighth by five and a half. My Whisper White is two inches by five and three eighths. Now I'm going to go off the grid just a little bit with flashcards because I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch whisper white for the inside. It is optional, but I think you're going to like how the little burst of white makes a big difference. All right. Now we need to prep um, that Daffodil Delight cardstock. We need to do a little quick cut. We need to cut off one and a quarter of an inch from one side. So let's cut off one and a quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to cut this down to four and a half inches. So we're just going to cut off a little extra there. Now I'm going to move my cutting blade out of the way so I can do a little quick score. And I'm going to score this. There's my three quarters of an inch right there. We're going to give that a quick score and that's going to make that super cute little flap. Now let's do some cutting on our two flashcard pieces. So on the granny apple green, I'm going to cut it down to two and an eighth by two and an eighth. Let me set that off to the side. We're going to use this for a little punching in a minute. And now with the piece of whisper white, we're going to cut it down to two inches by two inches. Again, we'll be using this for our flowers. It's all about saving cardstock, right? Okay, let's talk about the stamp sets we need for today's project. I'm going to use an old favorite of mine called Pop of Petals. I love this one. Look at all those great flowers. You've got some stems and leaves and some little flowers as well. And let's not forget her matching friend, the matching punch. We're gonna be using both of those on our card, but you notice there's not a sentiment in Pop of Petals. So let's find just the right sentiment for our card. It needed an itty bitty sentiment, so I chose itty bitty greetings. And look at all of those greetings, 32 greetings to choose from. Guys, when I'm filming this, we are in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. And so I wanted to use the I miss you. I've got people who I am missing right now and I wanted to send a card. But remember, we have thanks, we have happy birthday, we have with gratitude, fabulous at any age. Guys, there's a lot of sentiments you're gonna be able to use. So this stamp set, surely you're gonna find more than one sentiment that's gonna be perfect with today's card. All right, we are ready to stamp. I'm going to start with a Melon Mambo ink pad and I'm gonna take that leftover piece of the uh, Whisper White that we had and pick your favorite flower from the stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it here in Melon Mambo and I'm gonna do two of those just like that. Now I can come in with my matching punch and we can give these flowers a quick little punch. While I have that Melon Mambo ink pad out, I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to stamp a flower up there in the corner. All right, now we're going to come in with some Granny Apple Green. And I will be stamping off the edge of my cardstock, so I want to make sure I have some grid paper underneath me. So we've got this sweet little leaf. I love this one. I'm going to start here on the right hand side and just stamp. Now I'm just going to kind of randomly put this leafy image all along the edge of my cardstock. Plenty of room to write my message here, so I don't want to interfere too much with space. I'll set that off to the side. Now let's bring in our card base and a Daffodil Delight ink pad. And I have this wonderful little cluster 
of flowers. I'm going to stamp this randomly here all over the front. I'm going to open this up because I want to kind of stamp off. Again, I just want it to be very random. And I love the look of these little bright flowers, but we'll just kind of fill in anywhere where we need a little flower love. All right, that is done. It's our last bit of stamping, and we're gonna take the Memento Tuxedo Black, and we're gonna take that little piece of Whisper White. Remember, that was the two by two? And I'm gonna share my little trick. Okay, so this I Miss You is really little, and I was worried I wouldn't get it on straight. So I'm gonna purposely not get it on straight. And I'm gonna stamp it at an angle right down there in the corner. So now I don't have to worry about getting it straight on. You know what? Well, I've got that I miss you out. Let's go ahead and stamp it here as well. And this time I think I'll stamp right there. We are super close to being done with our card and ready to put it together. I'm gonna take that last bit of Granny Apple Green and I'm going to punch two leaves with that little uh, leaf punch. I just think that works great. If you don't have this one, you might check your die collection and see if you have some dies that would work here too. All right. Now, before we put our card together, remember if you need any of the measurements, if you missed any of those, maybe you wanna see photos or you're ready to order some of the supplies that I use to create the card, look down there in that YouTube description. You're gonna find a link that'll take you right to simplysimplestamping.com and then you can see everything that you need right there. Copy those measurements down and you'll be able to create the card. I say we start putting this card together though. <laughs> All right, let's put our card together. All right, we're going to start with our I Miss You. We'll add snail on the back of this. Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying fun folds and fancy folds. I find them to be so much fun and more fun than anything to give. I love to be able to give these. All right, now I've got that adhered, uh, the Whisper White to my Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna just kind of decide where I want my leaves. That I think works. Let me find my flowers. Oh, I have stuff everywhere here. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of get a general idea of where my flowers are gonna go. These are gonna layer on top of each other, by the way. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. So when you kind of have an idea of where they're gonna go, we can just put a little snail. We're gonna kind of hold that temporarily, if you will. Now, I'm gonna take a flower, just one, and we're gonna put adhesive on all four of the petals. And let's add that. And by the way, that's going to kind of also press down those leaves. That's, that's gonna really hold it in place. Now this one, we're gonna come in with a Stampin' Dimensional and we're gonna adhere that right in the center. And now we can take this flower and we're gonna go right on top at an angle. Super cute, isn't it? All right, now, we're gonna put our uh, little flap onto our card. And let me kind of show you what this is gonna do. It's going to adhere right here onto the side. All right, so can you see? So that little three quarter of an inch area, that's where we need adhesive. And it's very easy to put this onto the card because you're just going to line up the edge of the card and the edge of that flap. See that? All right, this is ugly, right? We can't have that. That's why I said I prefer <laughs> to have that Whisper White inside. So let's go ahead and add this to cover up um, that little flap. Now I do wanna tell you, if you want to avoid, you wanna skip this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that flap and you're gonna add it to the back, all right? So if you don't wanna add this Whisper White to the inside, you have the option. You're just gonna add that flap to the back of your card and not to the inside. But see, totally hidden. All right, looking good. Now let's add our focal image. Now I'm gonna be adding it to right here at the edge, okay? It's gonna go all the way to the edge. If you find that your leaves are gonna hang off, we can trim this down a little bit. So yeah, let's say we just need we just need to take off a little hair. That's fine. We can easily do that. Now I want you to kind of hold your focal image right here. That's going to show you right where your adhesive needs to go. Isn't that just a nifty trick? Line up our focal image here. 
and you can kind of see there on the back that it's all centered up. Now, I think that's really cute, but I wanted to add just a little bit more to it. I love, love, love the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. They're shiny, they're pretty. So let me uh, take some, I've got just a little half strip here, and I'm gonna take some of these lovely lipstick um, enamel dots and wait till you see the shine they are gonna give. I'm gonna add these just kind of randomly. There's three different sizes in the pack. So get a little creative, you know, kind of use some different sizes. Oh, can you see the shine and just that pop of that color? It's gorgeous. You know, it's the little things, right? Sometimes the little things are all a card needs to make it an absolute wow. I think I need one maybe about right there. All right, I thought that looked really nice, but I thought I'd also show you if you wanted to step it up with some ribbon, what about the polka dotted tool? I do love the looks of this polka dotted tool. It's soft, yet it adds this just enormous bright and pop to a card. Look at that. We're just gonna make a simple little bow here on the flap. And there we go. Look at that fun fold. And guys, we did it with flash cards. Yes, we added that extra piece, but you notice it doesn't take a lot to make for an awesome wow card. Oh, you know what? I just realized I also need to give my my flower a little a little extra love there in the center. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a card that is going to let someone know you're thinking about them. Perfect time to send a card and send some happy mail. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's Flashcard 2.0 Fancy Fold Edition. I hope you'll join me on the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share. I appreciate it. Have a great day everybody. Bye-bye.